Well, I think what we're seeing is uh, are, are witnessing and participating in are two tests. The first is a test of the technology. How does it stand up under these uh, two near simultaneous natural disasters, these two blows at Mother Nature? dealt the technology, and there's lots of ways we'll look at that, but I think the most important one is what's the real impact on public health and safety, and we don't know yet. We don't know what that impact is. The second test is, given the first one, how do we interpret that, and then how does that influence our energy decisions, our decisions about our energy choices and our energy future, both here in the United States and around the world, and Three Mile Island is, is an example of uh, witnessing some events, there was a response in the U.S., and it was different in other parts of, of the world. So what can we learn from what the Japanese decide, the French decide, where, what do they do about their energy future based on what they learned from Fukushima? And then when we reflect on it in the United States, I think it's important to recognize it's, we can't just look at it from the U.S. perspective. Meeting mankind's energy needs is a global challenge. We live in an energy-starved world, and so uh, an approach that only looks at uh, a very narrow U.S. perspective, I think, uh, won't serve us well in, in the long term. There are hundreds of millions of people that are desperate for energy. Well, how are we going to meet those needs? What are the costs, risks, and environmental impacts of all of our choices? Uh, including nuclear, and I'm still convinced that uh, nuclear will compete well if that's the uh, basis by which we evaluate those choices. And if there is a silver lining in this cloud is that it will bring attention to an important discussion we need to have, and that what are our energy choices, what are the costs, risks, and environmental impacts associated with each of them, and let's plan our future based on that.